Good afternoon, thanks for joining us here on Midday Kentucky, everyone. Um, we were just talking at, in between ourselves, which we shouldn't have been, but we always get caught out. Hey, how are you? Doing good. Good. David Goldman in every Friday, everyone. Yay. Stepping in, Katie, uh, Katie Lowry. <laughs> Katie So Love is back on Monday. She's been in Peru. She's been traveling She's been and traveling. vacationing in the world. With her father. Up. Hey guys, we're just doing table talk on the table today, and then we're heading outside. We're doing 90% of the show outside. We have some fun stuff. We do. I wanted to know what it was like to tailgate without actually going to the game. So, what did we do? <laughs> We bought the tailgate to us. That's yep. right. That's yeah. right. No, only because I wouldn't know what I was watching or the rules. Or <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to tailgate without watching the sport. That's the best part of the sport, in <laughs> my oh, opinion. Oh, so. okay. So we're right. We're right. Yeah, you, you've never tailgated before, I have never right? tailgated. And I went outside and I thought, listen, this looks a little fancy. <laughs> That's I don't how think you would do everyone's it. tailgating looks like this. N no, and it doesn't have to. The TT, <laughs> That's the beauty of it. I call it the TT tailgate. Yeah. I the triple we'll TG. Just leave it, we'll just leave it there. <laughs> TG, yeah, I man. love it. Triple TG. That's what we like. <laughs> um, okay. But there's a problem. What? I can't eat anything that is out there. I will eat it for you. Good. I know you <laughs> will, my friend. Because why? It's Fat Talk with TT. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, we said you're not allowed I to know. do that. You, I know, but I love it. Slim Talk I love with it. TT. It's with, of course, we've been doing the 30 Day Slim Down Challenge yeah. here. And guess what, everyone? I did my second weigh in and I've lost 14.9 <gasps> pounds. Yes! In Woo! two weeks. Two weeks and three days, I think it is. Yeah. Um, how amazing is that? You're doing I great. I actually think I made a mistake with the um, percentage of body fat. No, I think, I, think right I typed on. in the wrong thing there. I think it's supposed to be like 32. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's a bit of a mistake. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> they're just telling me we've lost 12.9. If you add 236.9 minus 222, doesn't that add, add up to 14.9 pounds? I think it does. You know, yeah. I'm not <laughs> in the <laughs> math. All right, all yes, I know is you're yeah. looking <laughs> awesome on TV. Um, so I want to know how everyone is going at home. If you have joined my slim down challenge mm -hmm. as well because guess what david goldman over here from bmi bma i should say <laughs> bluegrass medical aesthetics is offering everyone to do what i'm doing which is the hcg diet he's giving you all 40 percent off yeah. let's put up the phone number and the details of bluegrass medical aesthetics and david we really thank you for doing that oh, i love it guys this, i'm so proud of you troy honestly really? yes i'm sticking to it yes well, you, and you know what though weight loss and really it's such it is there's so much going on and with you being always in the public and always going to different events you have different challenges than a lot of people <laughs> yeah but it's foods in front of me 20 yeah percent. <laughs> it's all the we're time. just doing a whole show <laughs> on food and i have to sit there but you're doing and great go, oh this is great <laughs> you, you're d that is why you have me and lisa yes. to eat your food that's right exactly teamwork hey let's just put up those information there there it is all is 40 percent of all weight loss procedures of course and all you have to do is just say Troy's 30 Day Slim Down Challenge. Yep. We it's appreciate easy like it, that. David. That's all it is. Okay, this is something we're going to move on to the show, everyone. I don't know how you guys feel about this. I personally don't have a problem mm -hmm. with this. Okay. I have a problem if you if it's... Let me just finish this part <laughs> off first. What, what do you guys think about sunbathing topless? I love it. Well, for you, <laughs> for guys, that it's different. Easy. For women, I don't know. How do you feel about it? Uh, you know... Number one, I've never done it. Okay, if you were to watch someone else do it, um, yeah, I, I, it depends if I have my kids with me. Honestly, yeah. I think if my kids are with me, absolutely not. I wouldn't. If it's a public beach or something like, you know, I would never want that. If, um, if the kids aren't with me, it's really it's to each their own. I'm, yeah. I'm not bothered by it per se. Okay. Well, either am I. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether that's a European thing. Yeah. I, I, I would be. I would have a problem if it was. Fully nude. I don't mm -hmm. like that. Right, well, right. You know, I want to tell you about this story. If we could go back to the top yeah. of my script, that would be great. But I do have an issue. Well, when I say issue, it's just a fully nude on a normal beach is a bit of a problem. The reason why I'm telling <laughs> you this, a mother has faced a huge backlash online after claiming topless sunbathers should cover themselves up in front of children. You know, I, I went to Europe a lot growing up. I was blessed yeah. that my family took me to those places and we were in Italy and France 
and it was just m mom and dad were like, you're going to see everything. You're going to see the good. You're going to see the bad. You're going <laughs> to yeah. see the ugly. And it just, you kind of lose that. And it is, it's so American. We've got this like censorship, you know, and we just need to get over it. Yeah, well, this <laughs> mum's net user took to the site to ask fellow parents if it was unreasonable to want women to cover up in the presence of other kids. She admitted to becoming annoyed by a woman who took off her bikini top to lounge by the pool in a family resort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was my part. Yeah. That's where I'm like, she sort of has a point. Yes, yeah, she does. Okay. Yeah. I mean, she does. You, you feel yeah. the same way? I well, do. I just think if, if it's a family resort and, you know, this lady could have been European and she could have just been used to it because yeah. it is, it's just a norm there. So I think, you know, again, get over it. Right. <coughs> Here's the thing about this, sir, Lisa. Family resort, mm, I tend to agree with her. But if she was on the beach in front of the resort, mm -hmm. okay, yep. you know how they have the pool yeah. area, That's right. then the beach, yeah. um, I'm okay with that. Yes. I really am. That's how I feel too. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't really faze me. Again, though, you know, if somebody's breastfeeding, it's like, who cares? It's, right. It's right. natural. Yeah. Like, just... Look, tell us what you think. Head over to our Facebook mm -hmm. page. Tell us whether you think we're a bit prudish or a little bit too much out there. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? That we could be. <laughs> Um, but you tell us what you think. Now, David, yep. you told me since we're going to do a tailgate show that there was certain tailgate etiquette yes, that one should cover. It's very important. You know, w on today's show, we're just focusing all about tailgating. So I thought I'd go over some of the tailgating etiquette so that you're not one of these guys, you oh. know, a freeloader, if you will. <laughs> so, oh. yeah, some of the things, you know, if you're going to go, if you're going to hang out at the tailgate and you're going to sit on the cooler, if that's your chair, you need to get over people asking you, hey, can I get, you know, a drink out of the cooler? Mm -hmm. oh. That's what it's there oh, for. Yeah. And sometimes people say, you know, that's my seat. Get over it. When Move the on. Yeah. So it's like, it's like that's what it's for. So should you bring your own chair then? Yes. Well, and see, that's one of the next things. You want to have a chair, bring your own seat, mm -hmm. you know, so you can get comfortable because so many times people, again, they're just walking to each tailgate. Uh -huh. Bring one of those little tailgate chairs you can just carry around with oh, you. Oh, you go from car to car. I, I love it. Yeah, I actually, I'll go see, you know, a couple different groups, mm -hmm. hang out, have a drink, maybe play some sports, you know, and so Oops. on. You're well, watching sport. Well, no, no, no. I, Troy, I'm like you. I'm not really there for the game. I'm there for the <laughs> social. I'm, you know, I'll play like some of the tailgating games, like uh, cornhole or cornhole something. Cornhole is yeah. real popular. I got you. Okay. So one of the next things is just because you have actually brought drinks, like maybe a six pack of beer or something, don't feel like you can start using everybody else's drinks to make, you know, some cocktails. Oh, you know, I, like a I don't like that. Oh, yeah, it's rude. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got you on that one, David. Um, and another thing is if you're going to be visiting a tailgate, and you're about to leave, you know, because that's what it is. You're going from one to the next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't take somebody else's drinks with you. And people do that. They're, you know, a little road drink, a road soda. What do you, you mean? Yeah. So if you're hanging out and, you know, I'm visiting Lisa and I'm at her tailgate and I'm going to the next tailgate, before you leave, don't say, mm, let me get another Oh, take drink. another beer. Oh, before yes. I hit the road here. Oh, that take would be a, <laughs> a little roadie. Take a yes. Yep. And but if you're finishing your, your drink, if you're in the middle of it and you have to leave, that's okay, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I no, just totally. yeah, you shouldn't take a fresh one, obviously. That's right. Well, well that's sort of just normal manners. Yeah. Well, again, a lot of this is. It's normal etiquette and manners, but, you know, people aren't always so. Anyways, so <laughs> one of the next thing is, let's say you bring some friends with you, because okay. that happens a lot. I've got my friends. We're kind of meeting yeah. up with everybody. Uh-huh. You don't want to just start making your friends drinks with, because you might be really close with this group, but then, you know, I've got Troy, I've got Lisa with me here, let me pour you guys some drinks. Again, that's rude. You know, you're just kind of take, you're being, I don't know, it's being selfish, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, and the last one is, you know, don't be afraid to help clean up. Because when you're making food for 10, 20 people, mm -hmm. and you brought maybe a six pack of beer, and you're like, well, I brought beer, or I brought some drinks, you know, that's not equivalent to somebody cooking for 20 people. Right. You still have a duty to help clean up the area, pick up the trash, and, and go No, on. you're right. Yes. I actually, you know I what? Like I actually think I would send that out with an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> rules of coming to TT, Triple TGs. <laughs> you so event. would do yes. that too. <laughs> Tri triple so TGs. I have to be honest with you. They are actually rules that one should be part of when going to an event mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And I think tailgating could probably maybe get a bit messy, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Oh, see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All, all right. Well, with tailgate season <laughs> upon us, uh -huh. um, <laughs> this is such a ridiculous topic. It's so much fun. Why yeah. would you be giving up alcohol? Yeah. 
You know, sometimes people get overwhelmed with the alcohol. They think they might be drinking too much. So sometimes people like to do a little self-check and say, okay, I'm going to quit drinking for 30 days. I can do this. I can do this. Not a good time. <laughs> So that's what my topic is today. So here are some of the things that you can do to help you be able to quit drinking for 30 oh, okay. days. All right. Yeah. Number one, drink out of a wine glass. And a woman wrote this, so of course, you know, the wine was her preference for drinking. Right, I guess. So yeah. dr whatever drink you're drinking, drink it out of a wine glass. So she's saying, you know, cranberry juice, uh, you know, uh, fizzy water, whatever you're, whatever you're drinking, do that. It makes you feel like you're still part of the crowd and that you're part of the drinking crowd. Yeah, right. you know what? Have some soda water and put some lime in it so you feel like you're having a vodka. Well, um, yep, vodka. and that's exactly, that's, like what's that. a, that's number three, actually, oh. on my list. But, um, uh, yeah, carry a lemon, uh, squeezy lemon, mm -hmm. and I guess it's like a... a potent lemonade, I guess, and you can mix it into the uh, soda water and things like that to give it more flavor and it help you through the night. But also, um, there's planning ahead is, is, is essential. And why that is is because, of course, if you're going into a pub or anything like that, you need to know what your drink options are going to be if you're truly trying not to drink. And, yeah. um, and there are times, when I lived in Nashville, I was out socializing every single night, networking, you know, in the music industry and all that. I didn't want to drink every night. There, I would have been just crazy alcoholic at that point if I yeah. didn't drink that much. So I really did have to drink, you know, regular drinks and things like that. And I would kind of dress it up like I was drinking something. I would have a lime on the edge of the glass and, you know, things like that to try to give it a look. Um, but on any account, the next one is determine why you're drinking, too, and what you get from drinking. You drive important. me to drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, you <laughs> <didn't>. <laughs> show. My mother used to say to us, you kids drive me to drink. Mama needs her like, juice. Well, I think you were drinking before you had the kids. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so you have to, you know, what are you getting out of it? Are you, are you drinking because you're bored? Are you drinking, you know, for the, for the socializing aspect of it? Things like that. And um, as long as you can understand that and going into the situation and be able to still drink a soda or, you know. Well, you know what? Can I ask you both? I mean, you're both Americans, of course. Mm -hmm. In Australia, it's very much part of our culture. Hey, m let's meet up at five o'clock for a cocktail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's meet up for a beer or or let's meet up for coffee, which would then turn into yep. a, a, a drink hey. or, well, you know, we'll have a shot of espresso with the, um, you know, Zambuca. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, is it like that? I haven't felt that's here in America. In Lexington, I think, has a weird uh, happy hour scene, if you will, because like oh. when I was in D.C., that was like everybody, it was a five o'clock shut downtown, and we would just go and have a drink after. Mm -hmm. um, I do that with a lot of my buddies. We'll so go. It, you happy we, hour. Yeah, here. yeah, we'll do, you know, we'll go after work, we'll have a drink, um, okay. and, and we will, but it is so different than D.C., and where it was like everybody, and then at seven o'clock, everybody was gone. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. And well, I know in Utah, <laughs> that I'd be drinking in the corner because <laughs> it was a dry state. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, the last one is the bar staff doesn't care if you're drinking or Are not. Are you still on this? Yes, I am. <laughs> I moved on. No, we're not moving on. This is very important because you feel self conscious if you're not yeah. drinking. You feel bad for the bartender. But you know what? What I would do is if I was drinking uh, Diet Coke or whatever, I would still tip them as if I was drinking. That's how I roll. So okay. I think that's a good move. Drinking an alcoholic I drink. got it. I got it. Well, coming up after there. the break, everyone, <laughs> we're heading outside. Kentucky Branded is up next, and they're going to show us how to look the part Get your of the UK tailgate. Get oh, ready. there we go. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go, Mr. All right. Back after <laughs> this break, everyone. <laughs>